Mick, it's been a pretty crazy week, but we, we're here on the uh, about to start our first final. What's the feeling among the group? Yeah, I think the girls are yeah, they're excited, but they're relaxed, like they're in a good position at the moment, and uh, I think they're ready to give it everything because uh, yeah, it has been an interesting week, and for a moment we thought it had it, the opportunity taken away, but yeah, now we've got that opportunity to play and. Um, and a great, great ground, and um, yeah, the girls have, have learned a lot from this season, and no doubt they're ready to go now. And we have obviously missed out on finals the past three years. Does that make today a little bit more special? Yeah, I think so. Like, the girls have given up so much uh, over the four years of this program, and there's seven girls today that, that played in year one. Um, so yeah, I, I think they deserve the opportunity to play finals off the back of a hell of a lot of hard work, and, and now it's about proving that we're good enough today. And we did have a last minute change of opponent, I suppose. Um, how have you really adapted to preparing for GWS? Yeah, I think sort of it was Wednesday night and you got to start doing some more homework on GWS. They've been in a different conference, but um, look, they're, they're a good competitive team. They, uh, they win plenty of footy in the middle and they take their opportunities when they go forward. So we'll be trying to play it at the other end of the ground, but uh, no, it'll be a good contest today. And there's a couple of their key players will be Elise Parker and Cora Staunton. We'll be trying to keep them quiet today. And we, had have, we have had our own changes come in, four changes in total. What do you expect from our debutante Crystal Petrovsky today? Yeah, she's a clever player. We, we drafted her because she's such a clever footballer. And um, yeah, she's been training hard and, and hoping for an opportunity and she gets that today. But um, yeah, you'll see someone that sees the game really well. She's clean with the ball and uh, might be the missing ingredient to uh, converting in front of goal. So yeah, excited to see Crystal play. And just finally, obviously we won't be joined by any fans today, but uh, what do you have to say for those watching on at home? Uh, yeah, no, cheer loudly from home. I think the girls certainly know they're well supported uh, by family and friends and our, uh, our members and supporters. So, um, yeah, no, no, support them as best as you can from home. They'll certainly feel it uh, here at Giant Stadium today. Good luck today, Mick. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Caitlin. Cheers.